All right, welcome to the first edition of the San Diego Science and Education newsletter or channel. Uh, usually I do this as a newsletter. I send this out to uh, parents and to uh, my children's teachers to let them know different science and education resources. This particular edition, I had so much stuff that was aimed at parents that I thought I really should just do this as a vlog. So first time as a vlog. Here, let's try this out. All right, so uh, I'm Wendy Ponomarenko. I'm here to let you know about some of the wonderful educational resources uh, available to parents, teachers, and students here in San Diego. As a parent, I'm always trying to, uh, to be involved and to stay involved in the uh, educational system in my area. And a great local resource that I have found recently is listening to the Voice of San Diego Good Schools for All podcast. Um, the Voice of San Diego has multiple types of podcasts, specifically the Good Schools for All podcast is specifically is devoted to doing resources, uh, doing research and uh, interviews and keeping you up on the schools in San Diego, in our area, the different programs they have, the, the different scandals going on, the different things going on, the different distinctions they have. So uh, it's not just about bad things, it's very much about good things. And recently, they have an interactive map that is absolutely wonderful. I used to work in GIS. This is a wonderful interactive map. It's an amazing resource. So I want to point this out. I'm going to have uh, links for everything I'm mentioning in the description below. So be sure to check it out. Uh, the interactive map specifically has every public school in San Diego listed. And it has them separated out by elementary school, middle school, high school, or alternative school of choice, which are um, your, your schools that have alternative programs for people getting back into school and getting them getting their, their GEDs and things. But so uh, it also, you can filter them out by, uh, by what you're seeing. If you're seeing charter schools, if you want to see non-charter schools, you can also see the special distinctions in which the schools may have, such as having an international baccalaureate program, a dual language program, an arts program, uh, uh, an AVID program, which is a college readiness program, which is awesome. Um, you can also see if the school has a distinction of a high score on the educational equity index, which uh, gives schools with lower income students that are performing within the top 17% nationally special honors, which is wonderful. We actually have a lot of schools in our area that, that fit within that index. So that's a wonderful thing to be able to see. Uh, we will also be able to see uh, any schools that have silver or gold honors on the US News Public Schools College Readiness Rankings. So we actually have a few of those as well in our area, and that's always good. Uh, when you click on each school, a window will pop up that will display stats, such as which grades that they service, the, uh, the enrollment, um, the English and language arts scores from the standardized tests, their percentages, uh, the math scores on statewide tests, the percentage of students that qualify as English learners, the percentage of students receiving free and reduced priced meals, um, and uh, the percentage of students with SAT scores equal to or higher than 1,500, as well as the percentage of students taking advanced placement exams. So, uh, of course, that's at the high schools. Uh, it's a great map. It's a wonderful resource for parents, especially if you're struggling with the question of which public school is right for your kids, which actually there's quite a few people out there with that. Remember, when you do find a school you're interested in, if it's a charter school, there will be unique rules. For, uh, for applying for enrollment, such as entering a lottery system or such. So make sure you check the website of the school and stay on top of any deadlines. Um, if the school isn't a charter school, the San Diego Unified School District website has a neighborhood school finder you can use to research schools in your area. And if you choose to send your child to a non-charter school that's outside your neighborhood, you need to apply for the San Diego Unified School Choice Program. Uh, this program allows families to choose to, uh, to, choose to send their kids to a, a school outside their neighborhood. The window to apply for this program, unfortunately, is October 3rd to, no to November 13th. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't help you this year. But think of it as an opportunity. This gives you a year to research and to, to get everything figured out for you to be able to find that perfect school that you want to send your children to and to be able to get the ball rolling on that. You'll, you'll know about everything for next year. So uh, this is a wonderful resource. Definitely check it out. I will have links for them in the description. Um, <clears throat> also, if you need educational activities to be able to send your children to during the weekends, to be able to keep your kids involved in, in wonderful learning experiences during their free time, something I always encourage, I would definitely like to point out that this Saturday, December 2nd, which is tomorrow, 
Uh, from 10 to 3 is the Steam Maker Festival at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. It doesn't cost much. The um, There will be 100 booths. Uh, probably over 100 booths, 80 schools, over 20 different hands-on activities to get kids thinking creatively and interacting with science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, STEAM. Um, there will be about 80 different exhibitors and booths from schools, maker groups, businesses. It's going to be great. I'm definitely planning on going. Go to steammaker.org for details and, to, uh, and definitely have an amazing time. I encourage everyone to go. So uh, <laughs> another thing that... that uh, you can definitely do to help keep your kids engaged in some kind of educational activity is starting December 1st today and going until December 10th, um, Apple stores are working with code.org for their hour of code uh, time period, which is uh, celebrating computer science education week with free events at all the Apple stores. So they are actually children and adults can participate. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fun coding activities like programming Sphero robots to navigate mazes, programming droids from Star Wars to do different interactive things, uh, and, and a lot of other things meant to encourage a lifelong love of coding. And uh, I definitely encourage it. As far as I know, they are free. Just check the Apple websites, check out the Apple stores in your area, and find out which events they've got going on and at what times. And as far as I know, you can just show up. It should be wonderful. <clears throat> Another great science activity that you should definitely take your kids to, and not even just take your kids to, you can go to and enjoy, um, is definitely the hands-on science workshops at the La Jolla Rifford Library. They are sponsored by the Wet Lab, which is a, a, a group of bio enthusiasts. They are wonderful. The, uh, they are free. The, uh, the events are free. And uh, the people who, who do this, who produce this, put a whole lot of work, and I'm pretty sure they never get paid for it. So show your appreciation. Go out there. Enjoy the activities. They have experiments. They provide the equipment for them. You can actually do the experiments, use the equipment, use, uh, compare your findings with other people's findings, and find out a lot of amazing, wonderful, hands-on activities, getting your kids, getting yourself and your kids just really immersed in science and actually doing it yourself. It's wonderful. They're about every other Saturday um, at the La Jolla Rifford Library. They're usually from 3 to 5. Sometimes they're shorter. They're like 3 to 4. Um, I've been going with my son for years. The next one is on Saturday, December 16th. It's going to be about 3D printing. It's going to be wonderful. They're actually going to be teaching the, uh, it's called 3D Printing for Science. Um, they're going to be uh, showing you the basics of 3D modeling so you can see how 3D printing is used in research and in product development. And you have the opportunity to participate in a 3D design challenge. All ages are welcome. Check the La Jolla Library events page, which, I have the de which I'll, I'll have the link for below. Um, I personally won't be there because I have a birthday party to go to, but everybody else, you should go and tell me how amazing it was. Make me feel bad for missing it. So it's going to be amazing. Everyone should be going to these things. They're really wonderful. And to finish the December edition of my San Diego Education Newsletter, or in this case, blog, I wanted to end with a gift guide for educational toys that encourage scientific and analytical thinking. Um, as it turns out, Purdue University has released a gift guide for engineering gifts that should fit the bill for your Hanukkah or Christmas gifts. I'll include a link for the PDF in the description below. It has some great things on there. Everybody, thank you so much. Have a great month. Have amazing, wonderful holidays. Have wonderful quality family bonding time. And always make it a priority to actively learn.